Hello! Welcome to my channel. So, this is the last festive Halloween video that I am doing for the year. So I thought I would mix it up, do something different. If you're watching this on Halloween, because I think I'm posting it then, Happy Halloween! I think today we're gonna do a non-bookish video and do a Halloween decor tour. So I really kind of went all out <laughs> this year with Halloween. Over the years I've kind of slowly collected and slowly made some Halloween decor and uh, I always have a, like a budget in mind and this year I did a little bit more because we're gonna be having my family over for Halloween and having a little festive celebration. I'm very excited about it. And you know what? We could all use some festiveness and some cheering up. And I found some good deals and I made some cool things. So I just thought it'd be fun to take you guys around my house and show you everything I did and what I got and what I made and all of that kind of jazz because we're all in the spooky mood. So we're going to start in my office and then we're going to go to my bathroom and then we're going to go to my living room and then we'll go to my kitchen and then we'll do the outdoor decor. I haven't done stuff in every single room and I haven't done every room full out so I'm just going to kind of show you the best parts. All right we're going to start in my office because you guys have kind of basically already seen this and I need to redo some things. So I don't do the bottom part of my bookshelves. They're a disaster. I need new shelves really badly but I always do the top two for filming purposes. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot else in here so I just have this little beware sign from Dollar Tree and then the books that I finished this month. So we'll talk about those soon. So we'll just kind of like slowly like show you guys. So we've got my favorite, which are my yoga skeletons that I got at Michael's last year. And then I always turn my books upside down. Hopefully next year I want to do the entire shelf, but you have to have like a lot of knickknacks to decorate a bookshelf. So I got a lot of these pumpkins and things. Almost all of them are from the Dollar Tree or the dollar spot at Target because honestly like you can they sell these exact same type of pumpkins at Hobby Lobby for like four or five dollars and they're like a dollar also the 99 cent store got this at Dollar Tree this year these went really fast I you'll see these a lot I do a lot of wine bottle decor because I am like a glass hoarder and I save a bunch of glass and then I always like decorate them for different holidays it's a really cheap and easy way you'll see some better ones here later on in the video and then I also use some of my festive books to decorate with and I got this um, skeleton hand it's like a tong for like salads and stuff I got this little ghost that lights up at the Target dollar spot as well just some like Frankenstein candles I get these creepy cloths I think they're awesome for decorating you'll see them all over and then Dollar Tree also had these little like dollar book boxes cheap easy decor for something like this I have this little glass jar that I just put a Halloween ribbon around and filled with like candy gum eyeballs and I just keep it like that and I seal it for Halloween. Another little wine bottle. I got these are like Martha Stewart labels. I didn't really paint this one, it was already dark. So that is it for my office. So next we're gonna go into the bathroom and I turned the light off to make it like slightly spookier because it is still daytime, but I'll turn it on in a second. Took me a little while to get the vibes correctly. I want to feel like a really festive vibe when I walk into the room and I had never done the bathroom this much before. So of course, first up, I got this Jack Skellington shower curtain on Amazon. It was like 20 bucks, best thing ever. It's a really good quality. I need to kind of steam it to get out the lines, but I freaking love it and totally changed the whole room. Didn't have time or couldn't find a bath towel, so I just used this one that we got while we were on our honeymoon in Laguna Beach because it's the only black towel I have. And then I hung some creepy cloths over my frames. I hung creepy cloths over these shelves. That was a really nice way to make them feel more Halloween-esque because they were white. And then I have my sink over here, more creepy cloth. These are like candy corn lights they were really cheap that I got a big lot on sale last year so we'll start at the sink I just have a apple cider candle going from Trader Joe's that I love it's the honey crisp apple I have this skeleton guy I got him at Michael's this year he's like three bucks I was gonna fill with a succulent but I didn't have time this year so I just used him to hold the q-tips I need to like fill that up some more and he would be good like makeup brush holder too or pen holder and then I made this like little mummy jar a few years ago. These are flowers that I grew in my backyard. If I hadn't grown them, I would have got ones that were a little bit more themed, but I kind of liked it anyway. Then I have this pumpkin 
um, spice like hand soap that I use for Halloween and fall. Another Dollar Pumpkin from uh, I think Dollar Tree. I painted a kombucha bottle. This one is like one of the anniversary editions so it's got like some texture to it and got some real mums. And then we've got some adorable little candle from Dollar Tree Target Dollar Spot last year. This is like almost my favorite decor piece. This is like a little skeleton gnome that I got at the 99 cent store. I was gonna get a bunch and put them in the backyard, but they ran out. Another skeleton hand. This is like a really special piece that I got at a place called Rogers Gardens. And they just have like really unique decor, but everything's really expensive. So this is something I splurged on. He was like 10 bucks, it was kind of crazy. So these are some of the wine bottles that I made this year. And I spray painted them black, hot glued a label on, um, just for some texture. I'll show you up here in a second. Hot glued on some little rope and then I glittered some of them too. Little ghost from Dollar Tree, more creepy cloth, more pumpkins, more bottles. I put a witch's broom and a witch's hat, more pumpkins. See how you can see the kind of glitteriness of that. And I got this witch's hat was actually part of just a banner that I like took apart and used the hats. But I really love these wine bottles. I think they kind of look awesome. And then over here, I just have my little hand towels and some little pumpkins over the toilet. Okay, then this is my living room, which will change slightly before the party, but I just wanted to give you guys an overview. It's a little dark in here, sorry about that. <laughs> so this wall here, eventually we're gonna put a love seat for more seating and like a big beautiful piece of art. I have this big obnoxious thing because normally I have a beachy theme, but we're definitely getting rid of this sometime soon or moving into another room. I just threw some spiders up there, but I think I'm gonna turn this into like a photo wall for the party since we're not gonna have our love seat in time. So over here, it's gonna be a little warm. Uh, Jeff made me, or he, we had this table and he turned it into like a seashell um, kind of cubby table. It's kind of hard to see with the light on. So I just put a little tray with a candle, some books that I am reading, and then just a creepy cloth to kind of cover up the seashell vibe. And then I put a little lamp, spider lamp thing over that. I was gonna change out these photos. <laughs> that one's a little crooked. Didn't have time. I'm probably just gonna again throw some more creepy cloths. I love these bats though um, that I got at Walmart for like $2, but you could easily make them. Got this sign at Big Lots. It was really cheap because I used a coupon um, and I like it because it's got like a little 3D mug. Not quite Halloween-y enough for me, <laughs> but it was, it was a good transition piece. And then this is our couch. I went a little nuts with the pillows because I found these pillows like right here and then some more over here were just pillow covers and so I covered our pillows that are in other rooms and normally on the couch with those. I got this blanket at Marshall's. It's really fall and Halloween-esque. It's like gray and black leaves. I got that last year and I got these gray pillows came in a set at TJ Maxx last year and then I got this on clearance at Michael's last year. So this year I got these pillowcases that came in a pack of four. They were a little bit of a tight fit and some of them I just filled with stuffing but I really liked them. And they were like, I don't know, $12 for four. And then normally a pillow like this would be a minimum of like 10 to $30. Plus the ones that I covered up our old pillows with, I can take out and they'll be pillowcases again. And I won't have to store like a ton of fluffy pillows. It'll mostly just be pillowcases, which will be better. And I love this like little Jack face and he's got like a bat mouth. And then I have this little corner shelf. I wanna put another thing to cover up that lamp. I've got another bottle back here with a hand, magic wand night repair sign, another bottle I painted, and then most of the, there's like some spooky reads. This is a solar light, I have a bunch of these. Some of my favorite spooky reads. More creepy bottles. I actually got these, like they're just black elephant ceramic stands, but they kind of worked because they were black. Just some more stuff down there. It's kind of hard to see because the way the light's coming in, but I just hung some like creepy cloths over. I was going to hang some curtains up. Instead I did the cloths. Then I have this chair over here and I actually hung a like lace, what do you call it? A uh, tablecloth over this chair because we don't use it a ton anyway. And I thought that was really cute with all the bats and everything. And then those two pillows were also from that set that I got. Really cute. And then I actually made this little Halloween hack for you. This is really cute and it has like a lace bottom. So this is actually a placemat that is double-sided. 
Um, it had two sides on it already. So all I did was like cut a hole in it and stuff it with pillow stuffing. I had not great with sewing, but my mom helped me just sew up the end. And I got this placement actually on sale for like 50 cents last year on clearance. So this was technically like a dollar pillow <laughs> because of the stuffing and everything. And normally these placemats are only like $4. So that wasn't bad and I'm gonna do it again for Christmas. It's a really cheap way to get a lot more pillows. They're definitely smaller, so just keep that in mind. But I thought for like an accent pillow, awesome, especially like if you wanna have some for outside, which I'm gonna do next year. Just my little poof. We'll get a new rug eventually. It's totally ruining my vibes, but rugs are like hundreds of dollars. So <laughs> now that I've got enough of this Halloween decor next year, I'll either get a plain rug that will transition into Christmas or we will get a specific Halloween rug. We shall see. Then I have this cute little skeleton guy that I got at Michael's last year and I just have some paper crows that I hang up. Also in the living room we have this little sign. I wish I had some bats or something to kind of put around it. This is actually a tray I got for three dollars at Target. Great way <laughs> again to get a cheap sign. It's just a little like kind of a cardboard tray that Jeff hung. Put uh, like a hanging device on the back so I could hang it on the wall. I really like that. This is my Favorite part, this is our entertainment center over here that we got this as a Christmas present for each other last year because it was something we really wanted. I turned the fireplace on for you guys. It look, it doesn't look realistic, but it's it still makes it really cozy for the very few amount of cold days that we get. So you can't tell how cool this looks because it's daytime. These are like color changing candles that we got from Michaels and they're so neat. And then I just have some more bottles over here. You can probably see this one a little better. Here we go. Isn't that cool? It has a little sensor in there and it was awesome. And then I have some more bottles that I made and I spent a little bit more and got this headless horseman and he has this light up head there. More candles and more bottles. And that is it for the living room. I meant to show this in my last video, but I didn't finish it. So this is my front door decor. Um, not quite as grand as I wanted, but you can only do so much. So I've got my giant happy Halloween mat, something they don't tell you about getting double doors. You need giant mats and they're more expensive, <laughs> but I actually found that at Joann's. Then I have a bunch of real pumpkins, one fake pumpkin here. I made this broom. Making stuff has saved a ton of money. Um, so this is just like filler from Dollar Tree and then a stick from my backyard and then rope and then I spray painted that part. And then I stack these pumpkins up. I have this awesome sign that I originally got from Hobby Lobby. It has like a thankful sign on the back of it so it's double-sided. I got these spiders from Dollar Tree and I put them up and I should have bought more because they sold out um, and I really like them up there. I just use like little tacky stuff. And then I have this plastic cauldron from Walmart, I think legs from Dollar Tree and mums. They're starting to kind of die though. Another real pumpkin and I got this hat on clearance for like $4 at Ross last year. Love it. And then this little skeleton doggy. That's like one of my favorites. And then this wreath I made last year, honestly, like I just threw it there. I didn't have enough supplies to make another one. I got all of this stuff at Dollar Tree and I used way more than I was planning. So I was gonna do a double sided, but this is just gonna have to do. But I really like this. It took so long. Signs from Dollar Tree. They had some really great stuff this year. I don't love their Christmas stuff, but I like their Halloween stuff. Starting in the kitchen, I'm probably only gonna do this section tonight because I need to clean the rest before I can show you, but just this tiny little thing. I got this awesome tablecloth at Home Goods, and then I got this guy yesterday on clearance because it's like two days before Halloween, little vampire gnome. Another one of those cool candles, salt and pepper shaker I got at a boutique. Mums from Trader Joe's napkins from Walmart discounted last year. A little cauldron with little candy eyeballs. Cute! Okay, so I'm bringing you back out because I just redid something. So I wanted to do something to this. I think this looks totally awesome. I wish I had more spider webs to do everything. So I just put up some fake spider webs and another fake large plastic spider and I feel like it really, really changed the whole... Sorry about the sun changed the whole look of everything and it sticks really well to this like type of material 
Okay, and lastly in the kitchen, I just have this like little coffee bar area, tea bar area. It's changed a little bit since I first posted about it, but I just have like a skull mug with coffee in it, some cute containers with sprinkles and eyeballs, and then um, some straws in a mug, little pumpkin, some pumpkin pie tea. I have this little pumpkin filled with tea, and then I found this adorable little uh, coffee coffin butter holder as well as my like hot water boiler teapot and that is pretty much it for my halloween house tour it is now halloween day i've changed over my bookshelves for november already i'm getting a bunch of food ready and things for our little get together tonight and i'm really excited so thank you so much for watching let me know if you like this type of video and i will do it again for christmas time as well and i'll see you guys next time on the bright side happy halloween